Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the PvP portion for the TWAB that got released. I'm thinking this is the TWAB. If it's not, obviously, we'll make videos about the TWAB. But this is meaty, so if this is not the TWAB, this is a good day for us. So, let's talk about Angels of Death. Like many of you, I am passionate about PvP in Destiny 2, and it's clear that we have, haven't had a consistent message around these modes. So I'd like to share our high-level vision for the Crucible. Direct players versus player competition is essential in Destiny as an option to express mastery of your guardian and showcase the strength of your arsenal against other players. It's a simple vision, but it's one that's crucial to making this game feel like a real place for those players that crave that showcase, where the rewards you've earned, the skill you demonstrate, and how you've built your guardian all matter. So let's talk about what we're doing this year for PvP starting with our two priorities improving gameplay sandbox balance in the crucible and upgrading the experience of our most aspirational game modes when it comes to balance updates this these can be up uh, divided into three major buckets first in season 15 we'll be addressing three peaking in trials and competitive in these modes emotes will be disabled and players will be unable to pull out any third person weapon that doesn't have ammo third person experiences are part of what make Destiny's gameplay feel so good, but it was clear in our most competitive arenas that these mechanics were being used in ways we did not intend. This is a tricky problem to solve in Destiny's complicated sandbox, but we think this is a good starting point. Uh, I think the easiest way would be just to, like, if you don't have ammo for your sword, just have the Guardian in first person looking at his sword. like. There's a bunch of first person games that have swords and you stay in that first person view. Just allow them to stay like that to let them pull out their sword. But you can only see in first person. And then when you have ammo, then at that point, yeah, go go ham. Uh, I think the only problem would be like in PvE, like that would be a little jarring. But at the same time, it wouldn't be that crazy. Like realistically, it would be fucking cool if, in my opinion, but I digress. Second, over the next several seasons, we will be making changes to stasis and light subclasses in order to achieve a healthier balance of subclass in, cru in the Crucible. Across season 13 and 14, we'll be adjusting stasis in the Crucible in order to bring its overall effect effectiveness in line with our light subclasses. Here are some of the changes you can expect coming to a to updates this season and next behemoth titan decrease super du damage reduction this one's good increase super energy cost by performing light attacks this one's also good removed freeze aoe on super cast this i literally was just thinking about why why do why do titans need this when they have such a big list of things they can do while in super so this is i i think this is great Reduce travel, traveling efficacy of Shivering Strike when slowed. Yes, I'm all for this. I hate that the Titans and the Warlocks can basically get out of anything because they can just use their mobility thing to move out. But the Hunter's main mobility thing, you can't dodge out of stuff. So I'm all for this. Although I would just make Hunters be able to use their dodge. Right? Easy change. Decrease Withering Blade damage and tracking. I think this is fair considering we have two blades. Um, we'll see though, because uh, I think I still think if you throw two blades, you should be able to kill someone, because that's two of your melee abilities. Decrease slow stacks applied to targets. This is this is applied to withering blade because if it's split withering blade, I really don't care. Remove shatter dive re damage reduction. At this point, can you just give me something else instead of shatter dive? Like what? Like what? What do I have? Other than shatter dive, like really. So, just just change the shatter dive. Give me something else, please. Fix bug or a shade binder warlock. Fix bug where ice flare bolts wouldn't track track towards targets immediately on creation. What? Fix bug where a shade binder super projectiles were not tracking until a certain distance traveled. Oh, I didn't know that. General, decrease crystal damage or cr de uh, decrease crystal shatter damage. Interesting. For season 15, we are looking. We are also looking at universal adjustments to stasis by increasing damage reduction when frozen to provide more survivability for the victim. Oof. 
Following this stasis tuning in season 15, we will also focus on light subclasses and release a set of targeted buffs to our most underutilized specializations. The goal of these changes is to keep stasis feeling great in PvE and to bring its representation in PvP more in line with our light subclass abilities. Finally, we want to continue to adjust weapon archetype performances and introduce new perks that shift the meta in the Crucible. I think the team has done a great job in this area over the last several months, introducing balance changes both at the seasonal boundaries and at the mid-season. And we want to continue to dive down this path to diversify the types of loadouts you encounter from season to season. In addition, at season 15, we will also be looking to adjust overall ability usage rates to make sure guns and gun play are always key to the su success in the Crucible. I'm all for that. Um, I think Destiny shines brightest when abilities and gunplay are at an equal. Like, not not too much gunplay, not too much abilities. Right when they're in the middle, I think that's where Destiny 2 really shines the best. <clears throat> of course, gameplay balance only matters when the underlying playing field is fair. And unfortunately, cheating continues to be a significant issue, especially on PC. We're also make working to maintain security as new exploits emerge. And as always, we don't want to talk about all of those improvements for fear of empowering the bad guys. A few areas we can talk about are we're aiming to nearly double the size of the Bungie game security team this year, reflecting our long-term commitment to fair play. We've begun regular surveys to better understand your experiences with cheating and to measure our progress. This new data enriches our existence, existing streams from player reports. Thank you for reporting and game instrumentation. If you receive one of these surveys, please share your experiences to help us fight cheating. We've begun, we begun a strategy to uh, of aggressive legal action against cheat cheat oh my god my words we've begun a strategy of aggressive legal action against cheat developers you may have seen news articles about some of our early actions here we will continue to pursue those who undermine fair play using every tool at our disposal both in our in partnerships with other studios and under our own flag we'll share more security news when we can beyond gameplay Balance and security, we also want to adjust the structures of our most aspirational PvP modes in order to make them a better experience for our players. First, we're targeting an overhaul of Trials of Osiris reward structure and matchmaking paradigms to release before the end of this year. With this update, we specifically want to target a few things. This, I love. I think Trials of Osiris, the reward structure is horrendous and not even, not even joking, sometimes your first match of the game feels like your flawless match like the one that makes or breaks that flawless title so for me i'm all for changing the trials of osiris rewards let us keep tokens let me get random rolls of weapons after each win or loss like if i could do like if, if realistically if i could get weapons from the end of a match I would stay in the in the playlist longer just because hey it fucking sucks but at least i have a chance to get something instead of just hoping that i can finish this stupid bounty fast enough so that way i can get a roll at whatever i get so improve the overall health of the trials matchmaking pool both by incentivizing a wider audience to engage and better defining separation of skill tiers i really hope they put a lot of effort into this one specifically because some of my first matches this season were against people that already had their gilded title for flawless i don't want to go through that like i this is my first match of the season and you're putting me against people that already have their gilded title bro i put me against someone that's of my level please like i can't i can't fucking do it rebuild the trials reward structure so that it encourages more players to stick to their active cards longer our current structure encourages a lot of recycling cards after a single loss, meaning the first games of your trials card has a high chance of being incredibly challenging. We want to build a reward structure that continually pushes higher skilled players to want to progress deeper into their card even after a loss, making three wins, three to five wins a more achievable goal for more players. You know, it's really wild that like for me, three wins back in like season of the worthy and season of, of actually i didn't play that but season of the worthy specifically 
I think that was the first time, like, really, like, actually, season of the worthy was. Well, it doesn't matter. Season of the worthy. When I started playing it, I was like, realistically, I can, I can for sure. Season of the worthy. I was like, I can for sure hit three wins. Like, three wins is definitely like doable for me. Now, I, I don't even, I don't even think I can get two wins. Uh, three wins out of my, out of my range. But I don't want to shit on Trials of Osiris this hard, considering like me personally, if I had my own team, if I, like, let's say my friends started playing Trials of Osiris, I think three, maybe five wins would not be that crazy for me. Again, I'm not a bad player. I'm like decent, especially like if I have better player, better teammates, uh, I can very much uh, ride off of their skill as in like, it, it's hard to explain. Like I can, I can match their level so to speak so if i have good players i can match their skill and then we can really destroy but if i'm matching it with two potatoes then i'm just kind of like well i mean i can't be the fucking i can't be the mvp i can sometimes but i'm just like not like that all the time and not only that why am i gonna go really hard try to do the mvp thing when i can't even get three wins because i'm already fighting a fucking three team that has gilded titles for their flawless yeah there's no fucking way dude like i'm gonna talk about uh, trials of osiris later but let me just tell you this i have never felt more inclined to do what's it called i don't forget what their the, the the surface is called but have someone play on my account and get me to flawless i net last week was the first time i was like dude i've never really thought about that because me personally i don't really don't care i wouldn't judge anyone that does it but me i wouldn't do it i never in my life thought you know what i want it just for that hand cannon because i know that hand cannon is going to be good but i didn't do it because i was like fuck it it doesn't matter in the end of the day and now i kind of regret it but at the same time i still wouldn't do it so re recovery accounts right that's what they're called i've never thought i would ever think about getting a recovery account until that shit because oh my god fuck trials investigate opportunities for solo players to participate in trials regularly we believe this will not only make the matchmaking pools healthier but also but also will oof, but also will also encourage more players to see what trials is all about and hopefully form social connections with other pvp loving guardians if we can get a solo thing like in Iron Banner where it's just a group of six solo players going against each other, I'm all about it. I can stop using Bungie's shitty forum to find three shitty player or two shitty players or two decent players. Either either way, I'm just tired of going there and literally saying, I'm just going for the bounty. I don't care about anything else. And then our first loss, the person just dips. Like, I'm so tired of that. If I could just press a button and the game just match makes me with some other people, I will be infinitely fucking happy. So please do that. Because I'm tired of fucking having to go out of my way to play a game mode where I actually fucking hate. So this was a good change. After Trials, we will be targeting a similar in scope refresh to Iron Banner. While there is a lot to do when it comes to supporting the Crucible, we want to target our efforts around global PvP balance and our most aspirational modes first. So, I'm happy they, they mentioned Iron Banner. Uh, Iron Banner is one of my favorite modes in Destiny 2 just because of the history that it has and the armors that it has as well. But, I'm, I'm hoping they say new weapons, new armor better ingredients papa john's stuff like that like i would love new weapons i would love new armor i would love like just a plethora of new shit for iron banner uh i would love that i would just just do it please like just you know what's crazy too like i would even take like for each big expansion give us one armor set but each season that armor set has a different look that corresponds to that season's like theme so like for example for the uh for this expansion actually we'll make a video about that later but yeah i would love them to just make one armor set and then just change the theme of that armor set to match what's happening in that season that'd be great i think that would that's not a lot to ask for personally um but yeah 
that's pretty much it. We're going to be talking about uh, the raid. Uh, we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. So sit back, relax. I'm going to be doing a bunch of these videos today. And if a TWAB comes out, well, it's going to be wild. So I will see you guys later.